Hello and welcome to the 10 day trend. England and Wales experienced the wettest March since 1981 and at the time of recording it's raining again across much of the UK so you might find it hard to believe when I tell you that something fundamental has changed with our weather patterns since the start of April. Let me explain. Here's how it looked during much of March. What we had was a large area of high pressure sitting stubbornly over Greenland that shifted the storm track further south than normal, carrying low pressure after low pressure into the UK with the focus for rain towards southern parts of the country. Now we're seeing the storm track further north and low pressure taking a northward track through Iceland and Greenland and towards the northwest of Scotland. In fact, what you can see here is the jet stream split into two around a large area of high pressure now sitting over Scandinavia rather than Greenland. And actually, over the next 10 days, our weather patterns will be very similar to this, with high pressure dominating to the east, low pressure to the west, and a tussle between the two. Sometimes the high to the east will dominate, bringing largely settled conditions. Sometimes the Atlantic lows will move in to bring some wetter and windier weather with the most unsettled weather towards the northwest rather than what we saw through March towards the south. And that's what we're seeing over the next 36 hours. These lows in the Atlantic will win out briefly. The jet stream pushing weather system in during Wednesday. Uh, we've seen some rain crossing the country already. And on Wednesday night, that weather system clears through. But a dip in the jet stream then across the UK will bring some instability in the atmosphere and result in some lively downpours. Some longer spells of rain across central parts first thing. And the wetter weather to the east remaining across northeast Scotland, especially Shetland throughout much of Thursday. Lively showers then through Thursday afternoon, but those showers clear through on Thursday night. And then by the start of Good Friday, well, most places are clear of the rain and the cloud. And as a result, temperatures falling away. A fairly widespread frost with temperatures into the low single figures or even below freezing in some spots. Cloud and rain clearing first thing, although you can see a lot of cloud remaining out in the North Sea and that could edge a little further west again as the high pressure over Scandinavia brings an easterly airflow for Good Friday. And so I think on Good Friday itself, North Sea coasts could be fairly misty, a few spots of rain or light showers around and generally cloudier skies and an onshore breeze means that temperatures here will be held back 10 to 12 Celsius. Elsewhere across the UK, actually plenty of sunshine through the afternoon and temperatures responding well, 15, 16 Celsius, feeling very nice in this April sunshine. And little change actually as we go into Saturday and Easter day. It looks like that high pressure will be dominating for a time with generally an easterly airflow across the UK. That's going to continue to bring some of that cloud, some of the har and fret into North Sea coastal counties and hold temperatures back as a result. A few spots of rain at times as well associated with this. But elsewhere across much of the UK, it's looking fine with dry conditions and sunny spells. Spot the difference as you go into east today. We've still got that high pressure to the east. We've still got this mostly settled weather across the UK. But by this stage, weather fronts out in the west are starting to try and move in. They're coming against the high pressure, so they're slowing down, but they are making some progress. So perhaps some rain certainly into the Rep Republic of Ireland, but perhaps into parts of Northern Ireland later east today as well. More on that in a moment, but let's take a look at the temperatures for the Easter weekend. As I mentioned, Good Friday, 15, 16 Celsius. Add a degree to that for Saturday. Again, fairly suppressed on the East Coast, but that could change on Easter day as the winds change directions. So uh, 15, 16 Celsius possible, although still only 11 or 12 for the east of Scotland and northeast England. Elsewhere, 16, 17, perhaps even 18 Celsius, somewhere like Cardiff or London. Feeling very pleasant in that increasingly strong sunshine. Moderate UV levels and uh, we've got high tree pollen levels at the moment as well in case you suffer from that. As we end Easter day, as I mentioned, these weather fronts are trying to push in and actually they're going to start to succeed because out to the west, the jet stream fires up and it's quite a strong branch of the jet stream, 150 miles an hour with this fast flowing current of air high in the sky and that will help to push weather fronts across the UK on Easter Monday. So a spell of rain, the wettest weather across northern parts of the UK, just an hour or so of wet weather further south, 
followed by some of these features bringing fairly showery conditions for the latter half of Easter Monday and into Tuesday. Then, in addition to that, we've got the jet stream, quite a powerful feature, picking up another area of low pressure for later Tuesday and into Wednesday. So here's how the weather patterns are likely to look for the middle of next week. The high pressure over Scandinavia actually becoming shifted further east, low pressure becoming closer to northwest Scotland. And different computer models have different ideas about the track and depth of this low, but some of them produce quite a lively system with the risk of disruption from winds and or from rain. So close eye on that needed. But either way, the most unsettled weather will be towards the northwest. Spell of rain and wind for most of the UK later Tuesday and into Wednesday. Then for the second half of next week, well, things become a little bit more uncertain. What looks most likely is that we'll revert back to this standoff between low pressure in the Atlantic and high pressure over Scandinavia. As a result, the more changeable weather shifted towards the northwest of the UK, the more settled weather shifted towards the southeast. But what I suspect is that we'll see an oscillation between the two with occasional weather fronts pushing in from the northwest and the high pressure to the east bringing us some fine weather at times as well and some warmth with the spring sunshine, of course. So a far cry from what we saw during March, that very wet weather that affected southern parts of the UK, the weather becoming a bit more typical for the UK at this time of year, more unsettled towards the northwest, less unsettled in the southeast, but Easter weekend looks fine for many of us.